Ahoy sailors, Coach Chris here. Welcome back to Mr. Childers Boathouse. You ready to learn a little bit more? You know, I've been thinking a lot about sailing. Maybe I can't go so much right now and that's why, but I think I always been thinking about sailing. But this time it's different. This time I'm dreaming about sailing. Last night when I was asleep, I dreamt that I was sailing with my friends. The wind was blowing. It was warm and sunny. There were lots of other sailboats out. Boy, do I miss it. But I'm not so sad anymore because you're here. I can put my life jacket on so it feels like I'm, I'm sailing even today. Why don't we talk a little bit about sailing and we'll build on what we did last time. Last time we talked about different kinds of boats and different kinds of sails. Why don't today we talk about the different parts of the boat? Let's go over to the desk over here and I'll draw for you what the different parts of the sailboat are. You ready? Here we go. Okay, so let's draw a couple boats here. First things first, let's look at the directions on a boat. The front of the boat is called the bow. The back of the boat is called the stern. The right hand side of the boat, when you're looking forward, is called the starboard side or starboard. The left hand side is called the port side of the boat. Those terms came about because way back when, when people steered their boats on long journeys, they didn't have the rudder or the steering board hanging off the back just yet. Instead, because most people were right-handed, they had the steering board on the right-hand side of the boat. Steering board eventually got shortened to starboard. Now, if your steering board is on your right-hand side of the boat, then you can't come into port on the right-hand side of the boat because you'll wreck your steering board. So instead, the dock or the port would always be on the left-hand side of the boat. And that's why that came to be known as port. So, so those are our directions on a boat. Let's look at a different picture and look at some more different parts. The boat part of the boat is called the hull. This is the floaty bit. This is the bit that we sit in or on. Most folks know that sailboats have a tall up and down pole that we call a mast. And they have a horizontal pole. This is called the boom. Boats have one or two sails. The big one at the back is called the main sail, or sometimes just the main for short. The smaller one up front is called the jib. Most boats have a fin underneath the boat. Sometimes it can come all the way out, sometimes it pivots up. Depending on the shape, it's either called a dagger board or a center board. The steering board that we talked about before hangs off the back of the boat. That's called the rudder. The thing that steers the rudder is the tiller. To control our sails, there's a couple lines on board a boat. One that controls the main sail is the main sheet. The one that controls the jib is the jib sheet.
Nice. One other picture I wanna draw for you is the parts of a sail. We'll do just the main sail for now, but it's the same with the jib. Here's our mast. Here's our boom. And this triangle then makes our sail. So the, each sail has three corners and three edges. And each of those edges and corners has names. The top of the sail, same thing as the top of our body. We call it the head. The front bottom corner is the tack. The back bottom corner is the clue. It's spelled a little funny. The three edges, the bottom edge of the sail, same as the bottom of our bodies. It's the foot. The front edge, we call it the luff. And the trailing edge, or the, the back edge, is called the leech. Sometimes you can even see in uh, some sails, they have little plastic rods that are sewn inside the sail to help it hold its shape. Three, four, maybe more of them. They could be short, they could be long. These are called battens. Not all sails have them, but many do. These are the important parts of your sail. So now that we reviewed our parts of the boat, I can show you what I was so excited about this morning. You see, in my dream, I was sailing a boat, but it wasn't just a boat that I found at sailing school. It was one I built. So when I woke up this morning, I decided I was going to build a couple boats myself. Now that we know our parts of the boat that we have to remember, I'll show you the boats that I built and we'll point out the parts of the boat. Here's the first one I made. It's got two sails, a main and a jib. It's got a bow and a stern. This one has a pointy bow and a big flat stern. That's a fun one, but I made a lot more. This one has more of a square sail. This one looks a little more like an opti that you might be sailing. It's got a pretty square front and a square back. I also made a catamaran. If you remember last time, we looked at boats with different kinds of hulls, right? So this one has two hulls and one sail. I also decided to make one that looked like an old ship. This one has a big squarish sail. This one was a fun one to make. Now, all of these boats I made using supplies that I found in my house. The hulls are made out of old toilet paper rolls. The masts, I collected some sticks from the backyard. I put them together with glue and tape. I used the scissors, but I asked an adult for help if I needed it. Some pencils and uh, markers or crayons or paints to make your sail and some paper that I drew my sails on and cut them out. This was the most fun for me. But my sailboats here are pretty good, but they don't have all the parts on them, right? A lot of these sailboats don't have booms, and the reason is they're a little bit too small. So what I did next was I made an even bigger one that hopefully has a couple more of our favorite parts. Let's take a look. This is the big kahuna. Now, I'll show you some of the other parts that are new on this boat, but it does have some of the same old ones, right? It has a bow, it has a stern. This one has a rudder, 
and it actually works. Cool. My favorite part about this is not only the boom, but my sailboat has working lines on it. When you're gonna go sailing, your sails aren't usually up to start with. So what I made for my boat is lines that pull our sails up and down, like this one. Ready, here we go. Cool. A line that pulls a sail up and down is called a halyard. We didn't talk about that on these boats or in the drawings because it was a little too hard to draw. But this boat has two halyards, one for the main sail and one for the jib sail. You probably can't see it, but I also put sheets, little pieces of thread or string on here, and that helps me control the boom and pull it back in. One sheet for my main sail and two for my jib. Can we think of a name for this boat? I want to hear your names for the boat that I made. Put them in the comments and we'll pick the next, the, the best one and I'll tell you next time. I also want you guys to try to make a boat on your own. If you've got some cardboard, some paper, some toilet paper dowels or paper towel dowels, then you can make a sailboat on your own. You can ask an adult for help or use uh, the help of your brothers and sisters or anybody else who's in the house with you. See if you can make a sailboat on your own. Use as many of the parts of the boat as you can and then send us a picture. I'd love to see it. Okay, so for our knot practice this week, I've got one that we'll need to use if we're gonna put halyards and sheets on our sailboat. So hopefully this one will help us here. Let's look on mine. You see at the head of the sail, the halyard, the line that goes and pulls the sail up for us, it goes into the sail right there. I used a knot called a figure eight knot that stops the line from coming back out of the sail once it's through. Because this thread is a little hard to see on, I'll use some real line. Okay, so this knot is called the figure eight knot. We're gonna use it so that a line doesn't slip away through a fair lead. We're gonna tie a knot in the end so that it doesn't slip away like that. This one's pretty easy. You're gonna take the bitter end and create a bite. Fold in the line. Next, you're gonna cross over the standing part. Then you're gonna cross under the standing part. Last, the bitter end goes through the loop that we made. creates a little, almost looks like an infinity sign or a figure of eight. That's where the knot gets its name. Now, if the sail pulls the line, the knot stops it from running through. Sweet. For today's YouTube link of the day, I've got a pretty fun one. It's a short video, but it helps us look at what the parts of the boat are. And specifically, there's one part of the boat that this video is all about. Let's take a look. Okay, we've got our YouTube link of the day here. Uh, we're on YouTube. We're going for the mast walk as our search term. The first video that comes up is the mast walk by Alex Thompson. Alex Thompson is a professional sailor who sails aboard uh, a boat called Hugo Boss, named after his primary sponsor. It's a really cool boat. He sails it either by himself or with one partner in round the earth sailboat races. Um, so this is a really cool video. It shows a little bit about his boat. You can see right there. Um, the video is really sweet. Check it out on the biggest screen you have or full screen on your computer or phone here to watch. I don't want to spoil the ending, but it's really, really cool. So check that out. Well, that's it, everybody. Thanks for coming today. Don't forget to build your own sailboats and send me a picture. You can find me on Instagram at Coach underscore Chris right there, Siebel Coach underscore Chris. Tag me in your Instagrams. I want to see your cool sailboats. We'll see you next week, everybody.